guys, welcome back. How are you guys doing? I hope you're doing so good. Today we're gonna to be decluttering and organizing literally my entire makeup collection. What's kind of going on in my life right now is I'm moving in like two and a half weeks from New York to Michigan where I'm originally from and it's all kind of catching up with me. I've lived in New York the past five years. While I wish I could stay here longer, it's just time. I miss nature, I miss peace and quiet. It's really expensive here. In an ideal world, it would be super cool if I could also have an apartment out here, but it's just time. Went out to dinner the other night with some friends and one of them gave this really nice speech and it just reminds you how much people care about you. And I had two seconds where I was like, oh my God, should we not move? But then I had to remind myself of all the reasons why this makes perfect sense for me in my life. And I'm actually super excited about it. It's just a lot of change. I'm feeling a little sad, I'm feeling a little melancholy. It's just like all catching up and I'm starting to pack and it's like this is really happening. My name's Ruthie if you're new here and I just wanna explain really quick all the different makeup I'm into so you can understand why I'm decluttering and organizing the way that I am. Essentially, I do all sorts of makeup. I do editorial makeup, I create artwork with makeup on my Instagram, I do other people's makeup and then I also have to have everyday makeup. So I do have to keep a lot more makeup than the average person, but we're gonna do our best to declutter today. I'm also probably going to reorganize all of this once we move into different and more drawers. So this is kind of a preemptive declutter and organization, but let's get into it. To give you guys a quick overview of where everything's at, on the left-hand side, I keep most of my everyday makeup. So we'll start there. And then to the right, I have mostly hair stuff. And all the way to the right here, this tall set of drawers has lots of my editorial makeup makeup and glitter. This first drawer is supposed to be primers, skin prep items. All right, first up we have my blur sticks. I think I'm just going to be keeping this Airborean one. I love how small it is. You can really get near your nose. The packaging is really cute. I just have not been using my Milk Makeup Blur Sticks in a really long time. You know what? I'm gonna keep the mini glowy one. So unfortunately what's been happening is I've just been kind of throwing stuff into drawers because I kept telling myself, oh, you're gonna declutter when you're about to move. I'm keeping all of them. These are the Naturium Phyto Glow Lip Balms. These are truly incredible. These are two new colors of fluff lip balms. I love fluff. I haven't tried these out yet. I'm sure I'm going to love them. This is my Glossier lip balm collection. These are all the old style. I'm not gonna lie you guys, I don't like the new packaging. I just don't think it's very cute. I don't feel like I need to keep all of these. I think I'm just going to keep my favorite. So, and the newest ones, cause some of these are super old. So let's keep lavender. It smells so good. I'm just obsessed with lavender in general. I don't think I'm gonna keep it. I kind of don't like putting the chocolatey flavor on my lips as much as I thought I was going to. Oh, this is very hard and sad, but I've got to do it. I'm going to keep my mint because as you can see, I really use this one a lot. Um, I think I want to keep mango. I like that one. It's nice and fruity. I think I also want to keep this mini rose. This is just like too cute to get rid of. I don't need the big rose, so I'll get rid of that. I feel like I don't need birthday. I just don't wear it enough. I'm gonna let myself keep one of these three. Let me smell the berry, hold on. Okay, I think I'm gonna keep the berry and get rid of the other two. All right, I got rid of half of those. I'm proud on that one. Okay, definitely going to keep Huda Beauty Silk Balm in this drawer. Love this as a prep item. I mentioned it in my favorites. I'm gonna put this in the maybe category. This is a ColourPop little lip balm that looks like a mushroom. This is Hello Kitty Lemon Lip Scrub. This is very old, but I still use it. For right now, I've decided I'm going to keep all the sunscreens. I might not keep them all in this drawer, but I eventually go through sunscreen. I am, for the most part, a fan of unseen sunscreen. It doesn't work with some foundations, but for the foundations that it works with, I really like it. Now, this is a sunscreen I can really recommend. This is the Dew Glow Moisturizer by Naturium. It's SPF 50. It makes your skin really glowy and pretty. A Make Beauty Succulent Skin Gel Cream. I love this to prep before makeup. Obviously keeping Aquaphor. Glossier Hand Cream keeping. This is one of the products I tried for my Keratosis Polaris. It didn't really work, so I'm getting rid of it. I just wanna keep my favorite eye cream, so I'm going to keep my Dermalogica 
Naturium and this Huda Beauty one. This one's really good, the eye lift and contour. This was also in my recent favorites video. This is the Ordinary Hyaluronic Acid. This is 10 out of 10. I feel like everybody needs this. This is Make Beauty Orbital Balm, but this stuff's amazing, so I have to keep it. I, this is a very interesting product. This is Huda Beauty Blur Jam. I'm gonna put this with my couple of blur sticks. These are all of my glowy primers. Let's see if we can cut these down a little bit. Let's start with, I love Too Faced Hangover RX. This is a classic and it leaves your skin perfectly prepped for makeup. Another one that I love is this Charlotte Tilbury Wonder Glow. I've been using this a lot recently. I, what is there to say about this? It just makes your skin look pearlized and the packaging is adorable. I think I'm going to get rid of Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer. I feel like I need to test all three of these a little bit more. I'm going to be keeping these Arborio, Air Borean. I always get tongue-tied with that word. Primers, they're so good. I love them both. Actually, I'm going to be keeping all of these. Here is everything we're decluttering from this drawer. So the way I organized it, is we have dewy or glowy primers back here we have blurring primers skin prep items eye prep items a few random so hand cream a couple lip products we have sunscreens blur products and lip prep products. This is my foundation, eyebrows, and concealers drawer. Let's dive right in. I'm keeping these RCMA palettes. I use these to do other people's makeup, and if I'm ever missing a foundation shade, these are great to have, great cream foundations. Also keeping my Glossier Pot concealers. I love using these for eye looks on Instagram. They're super glowy. I like this foundation powder, and I'm going to keep it, but let me know if you know of a high coverage powder foundation, because I just, I like it, but it's not perfect for me. For my most worn foundations as of lately, this is the Kat Von D Good Apple. This can actually look super natural if you shear it out and only use a small amount and it stays on really well. Plus the Airborean BB Cream. Um, this stuff is beautiful for the summertime. So keeping the Makeup by Mario foundations. I just can't wear these in the summer because they don't seem to last super well, but I love these for the winter time. They're gorgeous, so skin-like. This Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless is a little bit thick, but if you sheer it out again, this is great for like on-camera makeup. I don't wear this one enough and I don't wear this one enough, so I'm going to get rid of these. Freck, freckle pens, I absolutely love these. Getting rid of this Kosas brow sample, it's old. I'm keeping my Make brow gels and my Half Magic brow gel. Um, these are my favorite clear brow gels. The sculpting one from Make and the Grippy brow from Half Magic are super good. I'm going to get rid of this Victoria Beckham one just because it's the wrong color. I'm gonna switch it out for the correct shade. And I will be keeping all of these. Concealers in the wrong spot. Definitely keeping Kosas Airbrow. It's been my favorite lately. I love Make Beauty so much, but this concealer didn't work for me, unfortunately. Getting rid of this Milk Makeup Concealer. It's just a little too dewy for me. It just doesn't quite work. I need to sort these. I have a bunch of Huda Beauty Faux Filter concealers. It's my favorite, so I have a bunch of different shades depending on what I'm doing. I also just started using the color corrector in the shade Pink Pomelo, and I love it so much. It's so great to just add to a concealer to make it a little bit more pink to counteract some dark circles. So I love, I also love this Kosas concealer. These are great for spot concealing if I ever have a blemish or some sort of scar, anything like that I like these for. Getting rid of the wrong shade of Huda Glowish and also this Derma Blend I just don't use and it's really, really thick. I just don't use this one enough from Herborean, getting rid of. Just got this Valentino Beauty one and so these three all I need to test a little bit more. Absolutely love these two. The Charlotte Tilbury, Tilbury Color Corrector is an just an all-time favorite, and NYX HD is also an all-time favorite. Such a great drugstore concealer. More foundations. Um, this is the Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Foundation. I'm almost out of it, and I'm pretty sure this is very old. You can kind of see discoloration, so I'm getting rid of. Very Valentino foundation I like. I'm gonna keep. I'm also going to keep this Huda Beauty foundation. It's really thick, but sometimes I like it for some intense looks on Instagram. I feel like I haven't experimented enough with this Derma Blend, where you can just kind of add liquid drops to other foundations, I believe. So I need to experiment with this more. 
These are glittery brow gels from About Face that I'm going to keep for my editorial looks. Getting rid of and getting rid of the Sigma one and Winky Lux, and I'm going to keep this Glossier one, of course. Here's everything I'm getting rid of from that drawer. finished foundation concealer brow drawer. Now everything's a lot more easy to see. I have my favorite foundations here, less frequently used foundations here, brow products, clear brow gels, freckle pens, concealers, and in the front I have some color correctors and a powder foundation. This is cream contour, bronzers, powder, and some face palettes. These are in the wrong drawers. Um, powder puffs I'm keeping. I love um, this big and these small Huda Beauty ones. My favorite thing ever, I use this almost every day, Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Bronze and Glow. Custom ColourPop blush palette. I use this constantly. It is so good. I love ColourPop blushes. Another really well-loved and used palette. This is Sigma Core De Rosa palette. Recently purchased this Dayzique. Um, um, lavender blush set. I This is so good and it works perfectly with the new Glossier blush. Getting rid of this, I just don't use it much anymore. This is a combination of half magic blushes over here. They're like that squishy texture. I love them so much. I wish I could just squish them. And then these are fluff bronzers. This used to be my absolute favorite. If you're a longtime subscriber, you might remember this one. This is the, what is it? It's the Natasha Denona Diamond and Blush Palette. It's so gorgeous. I just don't use it anymore. It's very, very old too and the cream blushes are kind of gross. Anastasia Beverly Hills Moon Child. I think I'm gonna keep this just in case I ever want a crazy highlight for one of my editorial looks. I am going to get rid of this Lime Crime highlight though. These are all my setting powders. Actually, here's another one. I'm going to keep all of them except for Glossier Wouter. I just don't use it enough recently. Some great ones to mention are these Huda Beauty ones, Cupcake and the Transparent are what I use. There's an eyelash stuck to this, gross. Whoops, this is in the wrong drawer. This is a foundation powder. I'll put that in the right place. Let's talk bronzers. I haven't really been using this Laura Mercier one, so I will give it to somebody else. Heart Park Avenue Princess. Do they still sell this? Because I love it and I use it semi-frequently. My fluff bronzer. I adore this thing. It's the most gorgeous packaging ever. My Kosas bronzer. This bronzer is okay. I do use it mostly when I'm doing more natural looks. Beauty Glowish. Great bronzer. Super gorgeous. Just a little bit glowy. Recently just got this Too Faced bronzer and I dropped it and I'm so sad because I really like it. See, it's cracked. So sad, I will still use it, but I wish I wouldn't have dropped it. I'm going to get rid of this Vesca Beauty one, not because it sucks or anything, it's just kind of too light of a shade. It's really only if you're super, super fair. Keeping my makeup by Mario bronzers, of course. These are compact translucent powders. Let's start with Laura Mercier. I love this one. I just got this one. It is the Translucent Luminous Perfecting Powder. I think it's a baked, uh, powder and it leaves your skin glowy, but also gets rid of the oil. So I love it. Beauty Glowish setting powders. I'm just gonna keep the lighter one. Charlotte Tilbury setting powder I love. Also this Make Translucent is super lightweight. I love it. Start with the ones that I absolutely love. This M Cosmetics or EM Cosmetics is amazing. It's the So Soft in the shade Summer. It's a super cool toned cream contour from um, Fenty Beauty and I like this for certain editorial looks. Keeping these Glossier, keeping these Makeup by Mario. Charlotte Tilbury Contour Wand. Everybody uses it for a reason. The packaging sucks, but I love it. If you watched my recent video, of course I'm keeping these Victoria Beckham Beauty ones. I'm just gonna keep the shade Sunlight of these new Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer Bronzers. And keeping this NYX Wonder Stick, I need to test this more. This is everything I'm moving on from, from this drawer. <laughs> is still pretty full but I really do use everything in this drawer so I'm still pretty happy with what we got rid of. We have loose setting powders here, some powder puffs, um, powder bronzers, cream bronzers. Down here we have compact translucent powders and in the front we have some different palettes. This is my blush drawer. As you can see I have a problem. Here's where you're seeing my true makeup hoarding come together 
in my defense, I love blush, I adore blush, and this is where I do keep full collections because I use blush all of the time and I use it in all aspects of my makeup. So that was a lot of excuses. Let's at least get rid of some of them. Somehow these have gotten lost in my collection. I'm keeping these. I need to use them more. Getting rid of these ColourPop ones. I don't use them a lot and I don't think I love the formula. I'm gonna keep these tinted moisturizer blushes by Laura Mercier. I will be keeping my Glossier Cloud Paints. They might be my favorite blush of all time. This is a line of Huda Beauty Glowish blushes that I'm keeping. I'm gonna get rid of this PYT Beauty one. Keeping my Sailor Moon blushes. They're like my favorite blushes ever. I still use them a lot. They're so cute. This is old Make Beauty blushes, so I'm gonna get rid of them. I sadly don't think I ever used this Flesh Beauty one. I'm going to pass on it. I love both of these Flower Power Animal Crossing blushes and use them pretty frequently. I love the peach and the pink. Let's see if I can get rid of some of these Hello Kitty ones. Okay, I'm actually gonna keep both. <laughs> I'm gonna get rid of these Lizzie McGuire ones. They're super cute, but they're too sparkly for me. I'm just going to keep the Peach ColourPop Powder Puff Blush. I'm going to get rid of these Too Faced blushes. Um, I used to use that one a lot. Or no, I used to use this one a lot, but I have a lot of blushes like this. This Alice in Wonderland one is really unique, so I'm keeping it. Keeping my Cream Huda Beauty Love Fest blushes. I love these. These are the ColourPop blushes that I'm going to be keeping, the Super Shock ones. This is a really cute one, but the packaging is broken and I have a lot of blushes in a similar shade, so I'm getting rid of. Keeping this Kaja Beauty. Look at how cute this is. It's a little heart stampy one. I love this one. It makes me so happy. Sadly, I think I'm going to move on from these Huda beauty stick blushes. I have so many blushes and I just don't reach for these very often. I think I'm just going to keep these two cheek slime. This is like more of a highlight and I just don't really use it. Oops, some more glossy blushes in the wrong spot. Keeping my rare beauty. I love these. This is kind of cool. This is uh, a, one of those clear blushes that changes color. I think I have to keep it because it's kind of fun. This is going to be really, really sad, but I think I have to face the fact that Milk Makeup Blushes just don't work for me. I cannot tell you how many times I've worn these and tried to make them work and convinced myself that I've liked them at different times. But at this point in my life, I tried one again recently and almost every time I regret wearing them because by the end of the day, I look like a mess. So very, very sadly, I'm going to give these to somebody else who these work better for. That being said, I'm just going to keep actually these two purpley ones because I have a look in mind and these might actually work for it. When it comes to doing editorial makeup on Instagram, I don't need them to be long lasting. So I'm gonna keep these two little guys. Love EM Cosmetics Lychee. It's such a perfect pale pink. Keeping all my makeup by Mario. This blush by Flavado is such a gorgeous cream blush. It looks so like naturally blushing. I'm definitely keeping, and I think the packaging is really cute and modern. Keeping these Pixie Beauty blushes. Actually, I'm gonna get rid of this peach one. I don't wear it enough. I am definitely keeping my Make Beauty blush collection. These are wonderful high quality blushes, and having every shade is really nice for all of the work that I do. I'm also going to keep my About Face Cream blushes for the same reason. It's nice to have every shade for my work. I'm gonna get rid of this ColourPop one. It's I have enough peach blushes. I love this one by Valentino Beauty. I'm keeping. It's very romantic. This is a fluff bronzer but it's in a really pretty orange shade that I like to wear as blush. I'm gonna keep these Laura Mercier blushes. These specific kind, what are they called? The blush color infusions are super um, not pigmented, but I really like them for just that little extra pop on a super natural look. I'm just gonna keep Dolly from Buxom because it's a classic. I'm also going to keep my Laura Mercier blush collection. Favorite Laura Mercier blush is the shade Strawberry. It is so freaking cute. Wow, you guys, I actually did really well. This is all the blushes that I'm getting rid of and I'm super happy with this. Other people can enjoy them. I'm excited I decluttered them. Here is the finished blush drawer. We've got a couple of my blush collections back here. Here we have some different powder blushes, almost all of my cream blushes over here, and then back here a few more collections. This is my highlight drawer. I forgot that these were in my highlight drawer. I'm gonna add these to my blush drawer. This is like the most pretty gold highlight ever from Valentino Beauty. Same with this peachy one, I love it. I'm keeping all of my about face blushes. I love them, whether they're liquid, cream, powder. I love this Huda Beauty Nymph Cream Highlight. This Sunscape Highlight by EM or M Cosmetics is so, so pretty. I'm gonna get rid of this Light Lock Fluid. I don't use it very much. I'm gonna keep this Half Magic Highlight. It's like a champagne-y color. And then I think this one's purple. Yeah, I 
I love both of these. Getting rid of this Ohi one, getting rid of these I Heart Revolution ones. This is super old, so I'm gonna have to get rid of my Milk Makeup Holographic stick, but I love this one. Definitely keeping my makeup by Mario. This is just like a clear balm and it's so great for editorial look. This was just a sample of Cover FX highlight, but it's so pretty, I'm gonna keep it. This Glossier Play one is so, so pretty. I think I'm gonna keep it for now. This is a clear balm from Ciate London. Because I have the Makeup by Mario one, I'm gonna pass on it. I like this little Milk Makeup stick for highlight, so I'm going to keep it and I'm going to pass on the Clover one. This is really old, but it's so gorgeous and I've used so much of it. It just takes forever to get through. This is a Marc Jacobs highlight. I'm not sure if they still sell these, but I still use it to this day, so I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna keep this really old Make Do Pot just because very occasionally I need it for some editorial looks on my Instagram. These are my Laura Mercier highlights. I'm going to keep all of them because they're all gorgeous and it's just, it's too hard for me to part from them. I'm even going to keep this one. It's super um, subtle, but it's great for natural looks. The only body highlight I'm going to keep is this Huda Beauty one because it really is gorgeous. I just gotta be real with myself. I have not used these Wet n Wild highlights in forever, so I think they gotta go, unfortunately. I'm just gonna keep this lighter Vesca Beauty one. This one is a little bit too deep pink. This Sigma one is like super metallic. I'm keeping it. It literally looks like metal. Keeping my makeup by Mario. I'm gonna pass on this Barbie one even though it's pretty. I have enough highlights. These are all the highlights I'm passing on. Pretty good. Here is my finished highlight drawer. We've got cream and liquid highlights. These are all powders, a collection of Laura Mercier back there. I'm pretty happy I have a lot of room in this drawer to expand and move things around. This is my glitter drawer. I also have face gloss in this drawer. Urban Decay heavy metal liners are so awesome. Some of them are on the drier side, but I really do still use them. They just have a little thin brush and they're just, they're wonderful. Getting rid of these Urban Decay Heavy Metal, they're dried out. Feel like I can get rid of this Glisten Cosmetics one since I have these three. This is like a fine glitter, a medium glitter, and a really chunky glitter. And then this is Glossier Play Glitter Gel A, which I don't think they sell anymore. And let me see if this even still, Oh goodness. I think I'm going to keep this for now. It's just so cute. I can't part with it. I hate to say it, but all of these are actually really unique. They're all different levels of, oh no, they're spilling. They're all different levels of chunkiness. Some of them are gels, some of them are loose glitters. So I'm actually going to keep all of these. I don't have too many red or pink glitters, so I'm keeping these. This is a ColourPop one. This is the Gypsy Shrine Red Diamond. This is Valentino Beauty Lip and Cheek in 01. This one's really pretty. It's very refined looking. I am going to pass on these Go Get Glitter ones, except for this turquoise. You guys remember these Zodiac Lime Crime glitters? This is so old, but I'm going to keep it. It's a really unique kind of multi-faceted green shade with some kind of warm tone glitter as well. It's really unique and glitter doesn't really go bad, so I'm gonna keep it. These are some glitters from an old indie brand. I can't remember the name right now, but I'm going to keep these. They're unique shades. I love this Moon Prism Power glitter from ColourPop. It was part of the Sailor Moon collection, I believe. This is a fun one. This is the Nightmare Before Christmas kind of like pinky iridescent glitter. These Earthshine glitters are sustainable from what I understand and I really like them. Like they're not the most glittery, but they're just pretty and I like the packaging. They're nice for like an everyday look where you want some glitter. For artistic reasons, I'm keeping all these wet and wild glitters because there's some unique shades. A sad day, but I'm going to have to get rid of these Milk Makeup Eye Glosses. As you can see, I used this one a ton. They don't sell these anymore and I have plenty of other eye glosses, so they've got to go. Nightmare Before Christmas one, Ones. Look how cool those are. Okay, so keeping most of the eye glosses because I use them a lot in my artwork. Here is what I'm getting rid of from my glitter and eye gloss drawer. It's not very much, but that's kind of to be expected because I need a big variety for my artwork and my editorial makeup. Here's the finished glitter drawer. We've got my glitter liners, random kind of brand and color glitters. These are organized by color. If you can see back there, I have silver, pink, gold, and red. 
Um, these are kind of just like some random brands that I wanted to keep together, eye glosses, and some extras. Yeah, this is bad. This is my eye pencil drawer. Okay, as you can see, I've started sorting. First things first, I'm keeping all my Glossier number one pencils. These are probably my favorite pencils ever, and for some of these, I am going to just keep the full brand because I know I like them. Like, I'm keeping all of these Urban Decay, 24 7 ink liquid liners these are amazing for creative liner gathering all my neutral coal pencils that are my favorite from huda beauty makeup by mario buxom my liquid liners that i'm keeping some of them are brown and some of them are black i'm going to use rubber bands to put together certain colors so for all my pinks oranges and purples i'm going to band those together here's all my blues and greens i'm going to put these together the reason why i'm keeping so many is because of my editorial makeup and my art makeup i really need a lot of color variation definitely keeping my victoria beckham beauty ones they're again one of my favorites this is everything i'm passing on a lot of them were dried up or they were just products that didn't work for me like these ColourPop ones they're just like patchy and just not the most pigmented unfortunately like some of my milk makeup i think this is discontinued my little stamps like i have a heart and a star are dried up i'm getting rid of my glossier play color slides sadly because they're discontinued i never really loved these milk makeup pencils personally Here is the after. I'm super happy with this. I can find any color or type of eyeliner I need very easily. I feel like I have the brands put together in such a way that I know where everything is. This drawer is full of more creative eye products and also eyeshadow sticks. I'm actually just going to do the declutter from here because I don't think I'm getting rid of a lot. And for right now, there's not going to be a huge transformation in this drawer. When I move, I'm going to be getting like a much wider an another set of drawers. So I'm going to be able to spread this stuff out more and organize it better. But for right now, I am going to get rid of these milk makeup chalks, eye chalks. I just, they're not great. I want to like them, but they're not great. I think I also am going to have to get rid of these Glossier Sky Washes. I've had these for a really long time and they finally dried out. My lid stars, however, are in good shape. I sadly am going to finally get rid of these Milk Makeup Eye Pigments. I love these, but they discontinued them. I have a bunch of these Half Magic Glitter Pucks that I absolutely love. They're so gorgeous. Also some About Face ones. This is their Glitter Eye Jelly. I have kind of a ridiculous amount of eyeshadow sticks. Um, mostly Laura Mercier, some ColourPop, some Victoria Beckham Beauty. I'm keeping these for now because I just love eyeshadow sticks and I can always get rid of more when I move. I need to kind of see once I have more drawers if I want to keep all of them or not. Because once I have bigger drawers, I'll be able to see all of the colors I have and I feel like it might be worth keeping most of them. I'm definitely keeping all of these Kosas 10 Second Eyes. They're one of my favorites. I am going to let go of all these Huda Beauty matte and metal eyeshadows. I just don't use them enough, sadly. Besides that, I just have like a lot of glitters in here. There's some Kaja Beauty. Um, there's these new ColourPop ones that shift different colors. Is what I'm passing up from that drawer. Actually not bad. I'm glad I'm getting rid of some. is the after. I don't love the, kind of the combination of products here. Once I move and I have the extra drawers, I'll be able to organize things a little bit better. But for right now, this is just kind of like creative makeup eye overflow. This is my water-based creative eyeliner drawer and mascaras. Again, these are almost organized, so there's no point in dumping these all on the floor. This is just old, so we can get rid of that. Um, I kind of recently went through this drawer, so there's not a ton to get rid of. These are all colorful mascaras. These are all my Suva Beauty water activated eyeliners. I have some of these big palettes that I absolutely love for creative makeup. Here's what it looks like. They're all water activated. I have all of my About Face Beauty cream eyeshadows. I normally have these organized by color, but this is close enough. They're all together at least. A couple Kryolan aqua color palettes and this sketch paint palette. It's one of my absolute all-time favorite eyeliner palettes and then i have some glitter glues and some eyeshadow primers one of my favorites is urban decay eyeshadow primer potion in eden this is an all-time favorite and also have some ben nye color wheels so this is all i got rid of from that drawer like i said i kind of recently decluttered it so that's it This 
this is my single eyeshadow drawer. The after basically looks exactly the same. I'm literally just getting rid of one eyeshadow. These eyeshadows are already really nicely organized and whenever I get new single eyeshadows I can always get rid of some and I made sure that all of them are unique shades of whatever color they are whether it's green, purple, pink, um, I have some Neen over here, some Old Make Beauty, but I still use them. I have some M Cosmetics, really sparkly ones, some really old NYX bright eyeshadows that I still use, and then I have some pigments. The Victoria Beckham Beauty one is amazing. No before and after for eyeshadow palettes because I unfortunately did just reorganize this the other day. This is my colorful eyeshadow drawer. Everything is organized by color. Things shifted a little bit, hold on. If you look back here, you can see my reds and my yellows. Then I have green, blues, and purples. Up here are rainbow or frequently used palettes. This is my neutral eyeshadow palette drawer. Again, no before and after because I just reorganized this. I love Makeup by Mario. I love my Glossier palettes so much. I also love these little quads from ColourPop. These are really cute. So most eyeshadow palettes in this drawer are neutral, but there's just a few colorfuls that I wanted to keep together. This is one of my lipstick drawers. Let me show you the other one too, because I'm going to do them both at the same time. Here is the second lip drawer. I think the best way to do this drawer is just to start with my favorites and then narrow it down with the ones I don't like as much and go from there. So here are all of my Glossier lipsticks. I am going to get rid of these Ojai ones. I just got these Too Faced lip injection ones that I really like, so I'm gonna keep all of those. I'm also gonna keep these pretty Barbie ones from ColourPop. I put all my Huda Beauty together because I love those lip liners. I am going to pass on these House Lab shades. I kept some of the shades, just I have enough of these colors. Same with these Jordana ones, they're fine, but I have so many lip liners. Keeping these Buxom lip liners, they are pretty nice. They have kind of a wide tip, so it's a little bit of like a learning curve, but I do really like the colors. Here are the lip liners I'm keeping. They're all organized by brand and I can find everything. Oh, and also these ones, I forgot to add them. I'm going to be keeping this Valentino lipstick. It's really pretty and it's kind of a matte brick red, which I don't wear super often, but it's nice to have one. Keeping all of these Armani Beauty lipsticks, they're gorgeous and I love them. While it's very tempting to keep full collections of lipsticks, I really wanna cut back and only have lipsticks that I really think I'm going to wear for the most part. I'm only going to keep these two from the Animal Crossing collection, a nude and a brown. Because these two are so similar, I would rather keep the Kaja. Even though this is a red shade, I'm gonna keep it from Victoria Beckham Beauty. It's a really poppy, nice reddish pink. So if I'm gonna wear that shade, I like this lipstick a lot. I'm gonna let go of my ColourPop lippy sticks. These are really nice lipsticks, but I have too many lipsticks and I don't reach for these enough. Instead, I'm going to keep my Laura Mercier. These are matte lipsticks. and I'm just much more likely to wear matte lipsticks in general. So I feel like they're worth keeping and I have every pretty shade. Definitely keeping this ColourPop blotted lip. I love blotted lipsticks. This Urban Decay Moon Dust is super unique to my collection and is nice for editorial looks. It's sort of a bronze. I'm going to keep my About Face Beauty matte liquid lipstick collection and lip liner collection. Um, the CLE Beauty or Clay, I'm not really sure how you say it. These are really cool. It's like a powder that turns into a lipstick, but these are really old. I'm just going to keep this one and let, well, actually, I like this dark purple too. I'm going to keep these two. Laura Mercier Glow Lipsticks ended up not being my thing. They're just a little shiny, a little shimmery for me. If you like ombre lips, then you need these buxom plumping lip powders. They're still one of my favorites for an ombre or blotted lip. I'm keeping these sets of ColourPop lip liners because super convenient if I'm ever looking for a specific shade. There are seriously so many lip products. In order to save time, I did a little bit of sorting off camera. These are all things I'm getting rid of. I'll show you in a minute, but these these are all things I'm keeping. I'm going to keep my About Face lip gloss collection right here. I'm keeping my Buxom lip gloss collection, even though it's kind of crazy. They're kind of, you know, the original. I think I'm going to get rid of a couple before I put them back in the drawer, though. Here are some lip plumpers, some randoms. Here are all the lip products I'm getting rid of. I think we did a really good declutter on this drawer. So these drawers are still way overfilled, but again, I'm going to be getting a different makeup organization setup when I move, so it's okay for now. This drawer basically has lip liners, blotted lipsticks, liquid lipsticks. This drawer has some fun stuff. These are all my lip plumpers down here. I love lip plumpers. 
and these are like my iridescent -y lip glosses, my Make Beauty Intense Serum Balms, um, my Armani Beauty, all my Buxom collection, and underneath here, I have even more, some Yuzi, some Sailor Moon, some Make Beauty. This video is getting extremely long and the sun is going down. This is taken all day long and I just wanted to show you a few more things. These are things I need to reorganize into my collection that were in wrong drawers. Here I just have a couple things that I'm using, a giant aquaphor, this Youth to the People, super, whoops, super berry hydrate and glow dream mask. I'm so sorry, little guy. He's my newest little sunny angel and I really need to clean my makeup brushes. I use this thing to put new makeup in that I want to test, so I will be refilling this shortly. On this wall here, I have my Soft Petal Laura Mercier lipsticks, which I absolutely love, and setting sprays. I have all this PR to organize and start testing. I have some over here as well. Finally, my PR closet, which also needs to be organized, but I'm not going to include today because it's gonna be a whole nother thing. If you make it to the end of this video, please leave a comment. I am fascinated to see if anyone does. This has been a super long day, but I feel really good about it. My collection's so much more manageable. I can find everything, and I'm really excited to move and be able to organize even more thoroughly. I love organization. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe. If you watch this whole thing especially, make sure you like and subscribe if you liked it. And I hope you have a great day. Bye.